What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bigger today, guys, on a review of the upcoming Kobe 6 Italian camo. Bam! Woo! The Kobe 6 Italian camo set the release on august 13th for a retail price point of 190 dollars tony how do they fit you guys have been asking kobe 6 always fit snug okay let me tell you that off the rip if you're someone that does not like your shoes fitting snug and i would say these fit even more on the more snugger side of things right then size up half a size some people in the comment section have even recommended going up a full size what did tony do though right tony likes his shoes snug regardless what did tony do tony went with his true size being a eight and a half that is the best way to explain this to you guys so that you guys are not out there being mad at me if you don't like snug go up half a size if you like a lot of room go up a full size if you like snug snuggy wuggy had a little bear you know what i'm saying just making stuff up then go with your true size and be like me the Kobe 6 does fit a lot flat on the top. You'll feel a lot of that pressure, or at least a lot of that snugness on the top of the shoe. However, on a shoe like the Kobe 8, which we'll be reviewing a little bit later on, I felt that pressure on the length of the shoe, which that is a little bit of a snug that I don't like. So some of you guys have been asking to tell you the differences of the Kobe 6 and the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, since it is an updated model. And I wanted to share that with you. Some of the few upgrades have been made to improve its performance and comfort. The pylon cushioning in the midsole has been replaced with Cushlon, which is made with a higher rubber content that is softer and more durable. At the same time, the small zoom air unit at the ball of the foot has been replaced with a zoom turbo unit that is much larger and provides more energy return. These upgrades have resulted in a shoe that is even more responsive and supportive while keeping the same iconic design. But we have here today the Kobe 6 Pro Tro being a progressive model of the Kobe 6, not a retro, but pretty much the aesthetic looks of the Kobe 6 with some additional cushioning and technology added in to make it up to date to basketball standards of sneaker technology. Hence why the price increase, hence why the name Pro Tro. The Italian camo pays tribute to Kobe's Italian roots. He lived in Italy for quite some time. His dad played in Italy. Kobe spoke fluent Italian as well as played a lot of soccer and loved soccer growing up. He even had a shoe inspired by that, the Kobe Mamba Curio. And the Kobe 6 was a very big uh, launch in the Kobe brand releasing in 2011, this in particular pair. And as you guys can see, has the snakeskin pattern all throughout it. Salutes to everybody who was killing me. I deserved it. Phenomenon, phenomenon. Take the P out and put V in there, Tony. Phenomenon. That is what is stated there on the outsole. And the Kobe 6 introduced the new line. Salutes to OG Mello in the comment section as well because the word was properly used. The takedown model of the Kobe phenomenon was introduced after the Kobe 6. The Kobe 6 brought in basically the takedown version, the more light version of the Kobe line, a more budget friendly version of the Kobe line being the Kobe phenomenon. And we saw that take its own course in the history of basketball. These three Kobe's that are releasing on the 13th is pretty much a good uh, pre-launch of the Kobe launch that is gonna be happening on Kobe Day 824, and it's going to be exquisite. Kobe's are back in full effect. It's been something that was you know, stated for quite some time. So yes, even shoes like this are going for the $300, $400. Some people have said the prices have dropped since then. I haven't really been paying attention to that. But what I am saying is that I think over time we will be able to get our hands more and more on Kobe's and they'll probably even be at a point where we, you know, be able to see them sitting at some point, maybe, hopefully, hopefully. I know a lot of y'all want pairs, so I would love for y'all to be able to get pairs and they're great shoes to ball in. Um, some people have had some issues. I saw in the comments recently about, you know, Kobe's not being as good, but me personally, when I put them on, the cushion, the material feels exquisite, but I'm not a baller, so. Don't, don't kill me on that. You got, of course, the injected TPU on the heel. 
You got the outsole flex grooves. You have a zoom turbo unit, a cast urethane outer shell, and a sculpted dual density sock liner. One thing about the Kobe's, specifically the sixes with this shell here, it gives you a very nice and solid lockdown when getting inside the shoe. There's definitely a lot of cushion within there, especially on the sole, a very comfortable shoe, and a shoe that you can ball in or wear casually. Not everybody likes the aesthetics of the Kobe line in general for a casual wear. Definitely a great basketball shoe, but me personally, I don't care. I'll, I'll rock it on a casual tip or also on uh, if I did want to go to the gym or do something. I think it fits all the above. I will say, though, this is the best looking Kobe in my opinion. This is me personally, but I've already done my try ons and my on feats for the Venice beaches and Phillies, right? And the fives actually look like, they kind of look like the best when it comes to jeans. Like you don't typically want to wear these with jeans, any of them, but the fives don't really look bad at all with jeans, bro. They actually look pretty nice. So that was something that this definitely threw me off. And that's not a model that I'm really like hyped about. Like, I mean, I'm hyped as releasing, but like I'm, I'd rather have a six or an eight or a seven, you know, and then a five, uh, then, a, then a four. My bad thing I said five and then a four. And that's just me calling it how it is. The shoe itself has the colorway of black slash crimson, um, bog, green, khaki. Here's a box, Kobe 6 Pro Tro, bam. And as stated before in the previous video, these are all releasing on the 13th of April, which was the last game of Kobe in his career. Um, and that's probably why now we're getting three of them all at the same exact time. And I've said it before that the three shoes that are releasing are all based upon in my opinion, very uh, big geographic, you know, uh, places to Kobe. This one being the Italian camo for Italy. You got the Venice Beach for Venice Beach and LA where, you know, where Kobe lived. And then you got, of course, the Philly where he was born and raised. So they're all very, um, they're all sentimental like places to Kobe's origins of some sort. You feel me? So I think this was definitely a good shoe to go along with. It's definitely the most popular out of the three. I do like them all pretty well. The Venice, I do like it. I think I like these the most. Okay, Venice. I mean, by these, Venice, and then the Philly. I definitely like all three of them, and we'll get all three of them. You know, that's just how I feel right now when it comes to Kobe's. Now, they start flooding the market, and I can't add too many, then I'll slow it down. But these pairs, I, I like. I like enough to want to grab all. And on this one, I just noticed it. It says, I want a shoe. And I wonder if it's my first time owning this pair. But I know that the Grinch says, I want a shoe that like forms to my feet, right? Yeah, I want to shoot that mold to my foot. And that was the whole technology behind the Kobe 6 that when wearing the shoes and playing in them, kind of like how foam pods, it's the material on the outside of the foam pods, it, as it heat up, it would mold to the person's foot. Whereas this one, it kind of did the same, but it did so with the insole of the shoe. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pull that out because it's a big, it's a big block. Oh, you hear that? I'm pretty sure my boy Nightwing would know more about this, you know, all about all this, the, the, the zoom and the TPUs and all those materials. But this right here is the actual outsole. You see that cup around there that then a nice little lockdown on the heel already happening alongside with the actual polyurethane heel right there. But real solid, real comfortable. These are solid. But I will say, man, out of the three, those eights that they, they got some crazy stuff in it yeah man so be on the lookout i know that there's some stores out there i think soul play actually right now is live with theirs on eql so it'll be an eql uh in-store pickup for this particular pair uh, i think they have an in-store pickup for they have three pairs they're getting all three pairs in-store pickup of this one in-store pickup on the philly and then online for the Venice Beach. So if I can, I will leave a link down below to all three of them. You know I forget sometimes, so forgive me, but I will try my best to remember. And if I forget, somebody in the comment se section say, yo, Tony, you forgot to leave the link and I'll, I'll, I'll get to it ASAP. Trust me, I'll, I'll read the comments. But we'll get that in there and uh, hop on that. But this will be a local pickup, Atlanta pickup only. So just keep that in mind at the end of the day. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna end you guys and girls off with an on foot review.